Hi, this is John Ellsworth with Protex Performance Sports. Today's podcast is about composure. We're going to talk about the things that get in the way of your composure, and we're also going to talk about four strategies to strengthen composure and improve your performance. Let's start by taking a look at what goes on in practice. When you're in practice, you've got the skills of a champion, right? You've got the right moves, the right mindset, and practice with passion, right? But in competition, it's almost like you're a different person. You dwell on mistakes, misfortunes, and you wish your team did not depend on you for the win so much. You panic under pressure and your performance goes down. In the end, the finish says it all. You've got the physical skills to take you far, but it's your mental skills or your mindset that holds you back from reaching your winning potential. Great athletes have both physical and mental skills necessary to earn championship performances. Here's an interesting quote from Dr. Nate Zinser, Director of Applied Sports Psychology at West Point. He says, quote, Overthinking is often the problem in golf. Winning requires some forgetfulness. Suppress negative emotions, concentration, composure, and confidence. That's what you need. Just look and swing. If you're an athlete that suffers from composure management issues, it's time to take a look at what you can do to improve your composure and take your performance to the next level. Here's another quote that sums it up from Jason Bausch, professional road cyclist. All athletes live for the win, but you can't obsess on it. You have to keep your emotions in check to get the win. Great athletes understand that thoughts and beliefs directly influence their performances. You can harness the same winning mindset by strengthening your composure. For many athletes, it's much easier to accept that they may need to refine their physical skills than to admit there may be some internal demons affecting their performance. They work harder and harder, hoping that enough practice, determination, and persistence will eventually resolve whatever problems may persist. But the underlying issues, not their physical skills. Rather, it lies deep in their beliefs, attitudes, and thoughts that they have about their abilities. Fears about what others think of you or your performances can be a big problem. Performing better in practice than in competition is something that happens a lot. Letting competitors psych you out or playing it safe to protect your score or drilling on mistakes or errors. All these are symptoms that composure may be to blame for your problematic performances. I'm here to tell you that you can harness the power of your mind and reap the rewards of a champion performance by adapting to thoughts that support a mindset that can impact a positive outcome. Here are four strategies that will strengthen your composure and improve your performance. Number one, learn what triggers your mental breakdowns in competition. Take a few minutes after a game and write down the top three thoughts or feelings that triggered breakdowns during the process of the game. What was it that you were thinking or feeling that got in the way of your performance? Number two, know that you and no one else are in control of your thoughts and emotions. How often during a game or performance do you think about what someone else is thinking about your performance? It could be someone in the stands, could be your coach, it could be a scout, a college scout, or a professional scout, but how often are you really concerned about what they think? I'm here to tell you that the way they can control your performance is if you let your thoughts about what others think affect your performance, then essentially what's happening is you're giving power to them to affect your performance. Again, after the game, I ask you to jot down on a piece of paper who you might have been thinking about while you were trying to perform during the game. Who was it that was on your mind during the game? Number three, recognize that mistakes and misfortunes or errors are a part of competition and happen to all athletes. I have a strategy about mistakes. I ask athletes to give themselves permission to make mistakes during a game or a competition. Allow yourself in advance or set up in advance. You're going to allow yourself to make three or four major mistakes in a competition without roughing yourself up. Number four, stop worrying about what others may perceive about your performance. Remember, they're not the ones on the field. They're not the ones on the ice. They're not the ones doing all the hard work out there. So why let them mess with your performance? Give yourself the freedom to take what you've learned in practice to the performance arena and have fun. That's the key. To learn more about strengthening your composure and emotional approach to performance in crunch time situations, please go to www.protexsports.com and send your questions to Ask Coach John. 
or fill out the Contact Us form. Also, please navigate to a free blog on my website and read the article entitled, Three Strategies for Distraction and Composure Control. Please note, you may be required to join the Mental Toughness Network. It's free in order to access some of the content on the blog. That's it. Thanks very much. I look forward to chatting with you again.